All right, so I'm using my big long ratchet, tightening this thing down, shifter. And I'm about to have a working shifter. I drove around about six months, push, pressing this white button right here, that release. Sure this one's tight. Next up, I'm going to clean my console real good before I snap it in place. Check this out. I'll turn the light on. I don't know if you can see in the video, I've got too much light in here. Let me turn this lantern off. See? You see that it lights up? And I press the brake and pull the button, it will go in reverse neutral and drive. Isn't that amazing? You know, I wish there was something besides a painted surface right here. I wish somebody would machine one of these shifters out, a solid stainless. It's kind of a crappy design, don't you think? I need to buy this piece here because mine's scratched up over, over the past several years. I really, really. Maybe my truck, I just don't wash it. Maintain it, grease everything, even the door hinges. I don't even touch the buttons where there's paint. I put, touch it to the side so that my dash always looks like it's not worn out. Crazy, I know, but I have heavy equipment and I'm tired of having junk. Very big on maintenance. And you know, as far as putting these connectors together, you probably could put some dielectric grease but I figured out it wasn't or I might do it later I'll get to thinking about it in the middle of the night and I won't be able to sleep but um, anyway it might be a good idea between these things to squirt some of that gel just to make sure you have a good connection but uh, I live in Georgia it's a pretty good climate here might be better off if you're up north or in Florida